where that red pointer is at. The pointing of direction into the other two homes was where I was hearing peeping and purping with little children, hacking of phones, watching people through their, their cell phone camera lens. I gave it about three months. Tell them to knock it off, quit it, stop the perversion. I was deprived of my sleep. I couldn't go to bed until about four in the morning. I couldn't even watch a movie because I continued to hear peeping, perving, hacking of phones, listening to the little boys and the daddies laugh at people's genitalias through their camera phone lens. I waited about three months with about 150 shout outs to knock it off, leave me alone. I wanted to get hands-on evidence because we're peeping toms and I wanted hands-on proof. So I waited until May of 2017. I ended up writing the police department through their crime watchers site as I was writing the writing in the comment section about what my neighbors were doing, I was being threatened as well. So I couldn't multitask writing a letter, being threatened at the same time without them threatening them back because they were reading what I was writing. So I couldn't get proof for three months. So I made my first police report. This is my first police report. It was actually with Lieutenant Lavera, uh, Valera. Lieutenant Valera was the first officer I met. I told him about the situation. I walked in here at 6-9-2017. I told Valera that last night before I made this report, I said, I'm going to take this matter to the police. And they hollered out back, we are the police. For three months, I was listening to perversion and threats. Valera failed to put their names down, the threats down. Here's my first police report. It says, it says this uh, from a different officer. I don't know why. I never met this officer the first time. Here's another police report. I had to go back again. The perversion got worse. I went in there. Apparently they didn't ask me for my ID because they never knew what address I was at. I told them my address. I told them their addresses and I told them their names. I told Valera on my first police report that he shouted out that he was the police. So Valera said, I doubt that, what's his name? And I said, Brian Keith. He says, no, that's not a police officer here. And I said, well, if he isn't, I know he's associated with you. He's using phone hacking equipment to phone hack with children between the ages of nine and 15 so they could laugh at other people's genitalias. My first week, I told my landlord, dude, I hear a guy named Michael and Brian. Who are Michael and Brian? And he said, oh, them are the guys over there. He goes, let me tell you about the last 13 years while you were gone, about other peeping, pervent situations around my home. And I said, well, look, wait, let me finish my story. I said, these guys are peeping and perving. They're threatening me with little kids. Well, one of the guys that I mentioned named Michael, he said he was peeping into his daughter's room. His daughter was 14 years old. 
couldn't sleep in her own bedroom because one of the guys next door did it the old fashioned way and was peeping in her window, nose inches away from her window, watching her before she woke up that morning for school. These reports have some lies on there. They're saying I never knew the guy's names. Well, me and my landlord verified who Michael and Brian was in February 2017. I knew their names. These reports are hiding names and addresses. Therefore, all these reports stayed in the miscellaneous file. I have approximately th tw uh, 11 of them in Big Island, Kona, and I have two in Oahu. These guys were in my phone. They knew what I was doing. They knew what kind of help I was looking for. I tried to get away from this. Seems like I couldn't get hands-on proof because they were using phone hacking devices from within their homes. I ended up moving to Oahu to talk to an FBI agent. The FBI agent told me he's never heard of phones being hacked, just like Valera said. The FBI agent told me to smoke marijuana, change my phone, and it'll all be over. Well, now it's been five years, and it's still not over.